Will Chase Young step up in the playoffs? This guy hasn't done much in the last couple of months, and now he just might have to start because Cleveland Farrell's going to miss at least one game, maybe more. Um, it's Chase Young time. He's gotten his feet wet. He understands the scheme. He needs to start and play a lot, which is what he did in Washington. What do you think? What are your expectations from Chase? I don't have, I honestly don't have a lot of expectations for Chase Young. I, I think, I still think it was a very good trade. I, I don't think there was really any losing trading a compensatory third round pick that you were going to draft a running back with, anyways. So not that big right. of a deal. Or a Way, kicker. Or a kicker. Or a kicker. Uh, on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> we're drafted a kicker again. We're yeah. going to, we're going back to the well. But when I look at Chase Young, I, I, I see the reasons why Washington was willing to get rid of him for a compensatory third round pick. And they weren't willing to get rid of their other defensive end for so cheap. Like it, it makes a lot of sense now. I see some of the effort things. I see that he kind of sees red, so to speak. And once the quarterback's in front of him, he's like, I got to get the quarterback at all costs, even if it's not the right decision to make. Um, he kind of blows assignments. I actually think the guy that that will step up if Cleveland Farrell is unable to play would be Gregory. I think he's been playing fantastic. Frankly, I think he's better than Chase Young right now. I think Gregory will be the guy to step up, in my opinion. Oh, snap. That's what I wanted to say to that. And that's what you I want agree. to say? Okay. Oh, snap. Yeah, I feel like Chase Young has kind of disappeared a little bit. He had half a sack against Baltimore, half a sack against Arizona. I mean, that's all his production since the Tampa Bay game. I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you. I think well, Randy Gregory fl uh, flashes more than he does. But I think both of them are primarily pass rushers. And losing Cleveland Farrell is kind of rough. Because let's say they face the Rams in the first round. That stopped the run against the Rams. And Cleveland Farrell is arguably your best run defender at the end. Yeah, I took a shot is. at Nick Bosa right there. I like Nick Bosa, but come on. He he's very good, but Armstead's back, and Armstead is the single most important person on that defensive line when it comes to the run defense. He might be the sure. most important person, period. So the fact that he's going to be back, I think that they can keep things going just fine without Cleveland. I, that the timing of of Cleveland going out and Armstead coming in, I don't think you're going to see him miss that big of a beat. What's interesting about Armstead too is if the Niners are playing the Rams and the Rams are getting them to the perimeter getting the edge on, on in the run game, you could theoretically yeah. move Armstead out there and put Sebastian Joseph Day or Javon Kinlaw in, inside next to Hargrave. That could work. So there are options. Good point. Good point. It doesn't have to be Chase yeah. Young because it may not be Chase Young. Yeah. No, it's very... You think they re Chase true. Young? I, I was actually going to bring that up before we started talking about Armstead. So I, I remember a few weeks into the Chase Young experience, people were like, oh man, should we sign him over Ayuk if it comes down to it? And a lot of people were actually in favor of that. I think Chase Young playing not that great means that he can be had if they decide they want to bring him back. I, I do, and I said this very early on when Chase came, I really see him having a Jadavian Clowney type of career where he's a hired gun, one-year deals, a bunch of one-year deals, maybe a two-year deal here or there. But he's going to kind of go team to team to team, and, and they're going to look for him to come in and boost their pass rush. Most of the time, it's not going to work like it hasn't with Clowney. And then he's going to find the right spot every once in a while where everything comes together like it did for Clowney first year in Seattle and then the Ravens and what have you. So, yeah, I. I I mean, yeah, there's a possibility, but also the 49ers feel like they can go out and get these guys on a regular basis. Yeah, absolutely. Bold prediction for the offseason. Niners spend their first draft pick on a D end. Oh. God. No. Yeah, that's your reaction now, but then they're going to do it. Everyone's going to be like, no, no, it's okay. It's got pretty good. That's going to do it. Not an offensive tackle. I bet you would. It has to be. It has to be an offensive lineman. It has to be an offensive lineman. Dave Barkley says, "Hey, when I changed banks, it messed up my memberships, and I wanted to apologize. I got back on with Grant relatively quick, but ruined my three years. But just I just realized the other day I had to resubscribe. Love you both. Three years well, you down the drain. Six years of college yeah. down the drain. 
What's that from? I have no idea. Animal House. <laughs> Six years of college. Right. 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 Papa Phil says, love you, Dave. Jesse, if any Niners are tipping plays, please don't say anything until the offseason. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone on the Funny how Ravens that's been coming up again. Yeah. Didn't someone on the Ravens say that the Niners have tails? Van Noy, yeah. Listen, I'm sure every team has tells. It, you know, we we know that it exists. Is it a big deal? Is it not? I mean, that's for I you. I think it's a fun thing decide. to say about an opponent. Just make them really self conscious. Like about who? Uh, just an opponent. Like, oh yeah, you have tells. We we knew what you're doing. Like, <laughs> is that like like telling a kid, hey, hey, your epidermis is showing? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Steven Draper says, okay, uh, Jim Harbaugh coached Seahawks and signed Kaepernick Boulder. Oh. Wow. Kaepernick is, that is That's the boldest of bold predictions, yeah. Kaepernick's 36 years old now. Um, who is Sparta? Jay Sway says, Armstead will unlock our pass rush in the playoffs. Unlock. Very well made. Ricky Williams says, go through your playoff predictions up to the bull. I don't want to. Not for $2. <laughs> Not for one ninety nine. <laughs> That's sorry. I you know, hey go to no. go over to last second sports. I've already done it a couple of days ago. Okay. Go check it out. Papa Phil says if Mike Florio and Quagmire had fusion rings, you get I guess each. Lol. Dave <laughs> Barclay says bold prediction: third round pick on running back. <laughs> Not very bold. 